Breastfed children perform better on intelligence tests, are less likely to be overweight or obese and less prone to diabetes later in life. Women who breastfeed also have a reduced risk of breast and ovarian cancers. Breastfeeding is one of the most effective ways to ensure child health and survival. Exclusive breastfeeding for the first 4 to 6 mo of life may reduce allergic disorders in the first few year of life in infants at high risk for development of allergic disease, potentially allergenic foods, eggs, milk, wheat, soy, peanut slash tree, nut products, fish, should be introduced after this period of exclusive breastfeeding and may prevent the development of allergies later in life. Breast milk is the ideal food for infants. It is safe, clean and contains antibodies which help protect against many common childhood illnesses. Breast milk provides all the energy and nutrients that the infant needs for the first months of life, and it continues to provide up to half or more of a child's nutritional needs during the second half of the first year, and up to one-third during the second year of life. Daily vitamin D supplementation is recommended for all breastfed infants. WHO actively promotes breastfeeding as the best source of nourishment for infants and young children. Mothers initiate breastfeeding within one hour of birth. Breastfeeding should continue for up to two years or beyond. Exclusive breastfeeding is associated with a natural, though not fail-safe, method of birth control, 98% protection in the first six months after birth. It reduces risks of breast and ovarian cancer, type 2 diabetes, and postpartum depression. It is recommended for mothers to initiate breastfeeding within the first hour after birth. Breastfeeding can begin immediately after birth. The baby is placed on the mother and feeding starts as soon as the baby shows interest. There is increasing evidence that suggests that early skin-to-skin contact, also called kangaroo care, between mother and baby stimulates breastfeeding behavior in the baby. Timing. Newborn babies typically express demand for feeding every 1-3 to three hours, 8-12 to 12 times in 24 hours, for the first 2-4 to four weeks. A newborn has a very small stomach capacity. Experienced breastfeeding mothers learn that the sucking patterns and needs of babies vary. While some infants' sucking needs are met primarily during feedings, other babies may need additional sucking at the breast soon after a feeding even though they are not really hungry. Babies may also nurse when they are lonely, frightened or in pain, comforting and meeting sucking needs at the breast is nature's original design. Pacifiers, dummies, soothers, are a substitute for the mother when she cannot be available. Many newborns will feed for 10 to 15 minutes on each breast. If the infant wants to nurse for a much longer period, say 30 minutes or longer on each breast, they may not be getting enough milk. The vast majority of mothers can produce enough milk to fully meet the nutritional needs of their baby for six months. Breast milk supply augments in response to the baby's demand for milk, and decreases when milk is allowed to remain in the breasts. Low milk supply is usually caused by allowing milk to remain in the breasts for long periods of time, or insufficiently draining the breasts during feeds. It is usually preventable, unless caused by medical conditions that have been estimated to affect up to 5% of women. There is no evidence to support increased fluid intake for breastfeeding mothers will increase their milk production. Drink when thirsty is advised. If the baby is latching and swallowing well, but is not gaining weight as expected or is showing signs of dehydration, low milk supply in the mother can be suspected. Techniques to promote lactation use frequent attempts to breastfeed, extensive skin-to-skin contact with the baby, and frequent, long pumping sessions. The mother should allow the infant to suckle at least 10 times during 24 hours, and more times if he or she is interested. The average breastfed baby doubles its birth weight in 5-6 to six months. By one year, a typical breastfed baby weighs about two half times its birth weight. At one year, breastfed babies tend to be leaner than formula-fed babies, which improves long-run health. Infant Nutrition and Growth, Darling, study reported that breastfed and formula-fed groups had similar weight gain during the first three months, but the breastfed babies began to drop below the median beginning at 6 to 8 months and were significantly lower weight than the formula-fed group between 6 and 18 months. Low milk supply can be either primary, caused by medical conditions or anatomical issues in the mother, secondary, caused by not thoroughly and regularly removing milk from the breasts, or both. Secondary causes are far more common than primary ones. The incidence of primary lactation insufficiency is not known, but has been estimated at up to 5% of women. Smoking more than 15 cigarettes per day is associated with reduced milk production. Management. The primary method for increasing milk supply is to increase the frequency and the thoroughness of milk drainage from the breasts, and to increase breast stimulation. For mothers of healthy term infants who are able to nurse, very strong evidence supports improving breastfeeding practices as a primary treatment. 
increasing skin-to-skin -skin contact between mother and baby, and allowing unrestricted breastfeeding, aid in stimulating the milk ejection reflex and promote frequent feeds. Randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled study demonstrated that domperidone increased milk production in mothers of preterm infants. Ideally, drugs of any type should be avoided in breastfeeding women unless, 